Welcome back. Okay, do you have the new COVID tracking app on your smartphone? Well, some 2 million Ontarians, they can answer yes to that question. With the numbers now surpassing that milestone, Ontario, the first province to launch use of the app here, but other provinces, they are poised to jump on board. For more now, I'm joined by Treasury Board President Peter bethlen Falvi, who, who was put in charge of implementing it here in our province. He joins us now to talk about where it stands and what's next. Good morning to you. Morning, Melanie. So let's first talk about the numbers. Uh, a few days ago, we were hovering around that 2 million mark of downloads. Where does it stand right now? Yeah, we're, we're over 2 million uh, now, and, and uh, we're the first province that signed up, and it was very important that uh, we do this. Uh, it's another tool in our toolkit, so I've downloaded it, so it's 2 million and one. And I know, Melanie, you've done it, so it's 2 million and two. Yes. Um, free, it's easy, and it's very private and secure, and it's another tool in our toolkit. So. This is, uh, we're very proud to launch this in Ontario. We, we built it with uh, Shopify, a great uh, Ontario and global technology success based right here in uh, Ontario. And, uh, but we then moved it over to the feds because we really believe and the premier and I feel that this should be a pan-Canadian tool because if you, you're in BC or if you're in Newfoundland or if you're in Kenora uh, here in Ontario, this, this is a great tool to, another tool to let you know if, if you've been around someone who's got COVID. So it's been available now since July 31st, uh, and there are still a lot of questions. What has happened in the last two and a half weeks? Have there been any bugs that have been worked out? Has there been any progress on working on improvements, say, to privacy, to encourage people to download? What has happened in this period? So I've come from the private sector where you, uh, and now in government, uh, you do user testing. So we did very robust user testing, and we engaged with the privacy commissioners as well. So on the user testing, you know, there haven't been any bugs, um, you know, knock on wood. Um, number number two, on the privacy side, both the Privacy Commissioner of Canada and the Privacy Commissioner of Ontario signed off and and, uh, and even said they were going to download it. Themselves. So, and I think we're getting uh, from the global uh, community interest in what we've done here in Ontario. So, so, so far so good. And I have full confidence that this will be a, a great tool in our toolkit. Now, two million sounds very high, but when you put that into perspective, uh, we need a lot more people to jump on board. I I think one of the things people are looking for is an indicator. What would be an indicator of success? How many downloads would make it effective? I think it's been successful already. If we just find one, if it just helps one person, uh, that's a success. We've had many, many more than that. In fact, within days of the launch, people were already putting in the keys to alert and pushing out to those that they've been close to, all anonymously. I think, uh, so that's already a success. I think that other provinces coming on board would be another sign of success. So we're. We want this very much to be a pan-Canadian, Ontario made, but a pan-Canadian app, uh, that would be a success. And if we save one life, just one life, I would call that a success. Mm -hmm. uh, you talked about other provinces jumping on board. Do you know status? I, you, we, we talked a little bit earlier about Alberta being likely the next. Yeah, I, 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 Alberta has indicated that they're coming on board. I know other provinces. I talked to my counterparts right across Canada. Many are looking at it and many are watching what's happening here in Ontario. And I got to say, go Ontario with uh, the two million over two million downloads. Uh, you have to assume since we're the only promise that the vast majority of those downloads are happening here in Ontario. Mm -hmm. Although you could be in BC and download this. It's sure. not, uh, it doesn't know where you are, if, uh, but you can download it. Um, so I, I'm very encouraged that we're directly, uh, it's another tool in our toolkit. It's free and easy, it's safe, it's secure. Um, go Canada. Peter, if, if I were to ask you a question, we're running out of time here, but two million sounds like a lot, but we need a lot more on board. What would you say to any Ontarians or Canadians who are still a bit hesitant for this download? I think uh, when privacy commissioners who are very risk averse say it's fine to download and they're downloading it, when other countries are looking at us, um, when, when you don't need, we, we've got two million, keep going. Uh, the, more, uh, the more they go on it, the more effective it is, absolutely. Um, I would just say, uh, you know, everyone in Ontario has been doing their part, 14.77 million people. Keep doing our part and uh, very encouraged that, that people are so engaged and that's why the mm -hmm. numbers are low. We got, can't be complacent, Melanie. You know, we're heading into wave two with the flu season, with school cold, season, <laughs> yeah. Regrowing the economy, you know, all this. So we can't be complacent. Indeed, that so, is uh, I, definitely I, true. I've got, it, I've got it right here. So uh, I would just encourage everyone else to download it and Peter, get on it. Peter, we thank you for your time this morning and the updates as well. Appreciate it. Great. My pleasure. Thank you. All right.